Hello everyone, Papa Ken here, and welcome to uh, what I guess is essentially going to be an update. I don't know that I can really categorize it as an uh, opinion video or what have you, but uh, just so you all know, although I planned on having something more substantial up today, uh, unfortunately I had to work late last night uh, at my full-time job, so I wasn't able to really work on getting anything out. I do have a video ready uh, for Thursday, but that's a video game related video, and unless I had at least one other <laughs> video prepared, I don't want to release another one today. Um, so, uh, update there, <laughs> although I've been saying this several times, um, my plan is to try and get ahead with videos. One of the ways in which I'm going to try and do that is, although I do tend to ramble, as I'm sure you've noticed, um, I'm going to try and make videos overall a bit shorter, in particular, when it comes to video game based videos, I'm going to try and keep them around the 15 to at max 20 minute limit. That way, um, if like if I'm doing a recording session and it takes me about half an hour, I can split that in half, like what I've done with um, the most recent uh, Hyrule Warriors videos, which came out yesterday, much earlier than I intended it to. I actually intended it for today. But uh, yeah, I've, I've decided to split. Um, half-hour sessions into 15 minutes and really anything from there even if I don't do an official close to a video it's going to end at some point around 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll continue into the next video so I'll probably like not keep track of uh, like what part I'm on <laughs> overall but that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're interested at all in my video game based videos um, one other thing that I wanted to bring up is one of the aspects in which I've been wanting to expand Papa Ken Media. And the category has existed on the website so far, but nothing has been contributed to it. Probably mostly because the, some of the things I've discussed have fallen more under the opinions title, and I don't really have a segment for those on, um, on the website yet. But uh, what I've been kind of wanting to do is to expand my reach as a content creator into some of the topics of politics. And I know that can be, uh, well, <laughs> I know for me it's rather terrifying because politics can be very uh, polarizing. And even, I don't know that politics is necessarily the right category to put it in because I want to discuss a lot of things that affect our lives overall that are, are more newsworthy but not necessarily political, although I guess political things kind of touch on all of our lives. I don't know. <laughs> it's something that's definitely a work in progress, but I don't know if it really shows through uh, in the videos that I make, but uh, I would categorize myself as a person who is progressive politically. I am a person who considers myself to be a feminist. Um, if you want to go into religious speak, I consider myself a Christian. But at the same time, I also categorize myself as a humanist. Two things that kind of, well, not even kind of, they definitely butt heads from time to time. And what I'm wanting to do more than anything is to take this mindset that I've often had, or not even often, I've pretty much always had it, and I kind of... I jokingly label it as a curse, but I call it the curse of the eternal devil's advocate. And I know <laughs> using the term devil's advocate um, has not had the best of... Um, people don't see that very well, especially these days. Because although I, again, I identify as a feminist, um, some of the views I hold uh, don't meld very well with people who, I guess you would say, are more staunchly feminist. Um, although there are certain things I agree with or can, um, uh, what am I trying to say? I can not necessarily identify, but I can see where someone else is coming from and try to, you know, make their reasoning visible, or at least what I perceive to be their reasoning, that can often be taken as weakness on the side of, like, a, part a particular stance that you hold. And I don't think that's true. I honestly do think, or I believe, that in a world of extremes, the truth is hidden in the shades of gray. 
Like, and I've... There are times where I will take sort of a black and white, uh, like, polarizing stance on something. Uh, which I'm sure you'll find out as time goes along. But even when I do that, I honestly do believe that somewhere within those shades of gray lies the truth. And that stands for politics, that stands for social issues. And I, like I was saying, I think that you can be, perhaps, like you can stand with a position that stands at one extreme and still see or try to understand why people outside that extreme or people on the other side believe what they do and still remain strong in your stance because it's it boils down to empathy in my opinion or maybe that's just the way it is it boils down to empathy in being able to stand firm on your own ground be willing to change be willing to change your opinion based on the evidence and the facts and what comes with time but at the same time still be able to see why someone else holds their different opinion and it can be really hard to do at times it can be really well not even at times it can just be really hard in general to do that because people that hold the extreme opinions on each side can be very aggressive. They can be very protective of their own views. They don't want to allow there to be any outside opinions because they're worried it will change their own opinion. And the, I think that it's not, it's, it shouldn't be seen as weakness. It shouldn't be seen as a problem to potentially change your views on something. I think that you should be open to allowing yourself to learn more and use that to def further define where you stand. Kind of like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a something that wouldn't be super political right now that wouldn't really get me in trouble. But uh, to and keep in mind here, I'm being. Uh, this one example, I am being very general here. I'm being very general. I'm not trying to show any particular stance here. But um, one of the battles you see online, especially on Twitter and places like that these days, is the Gamergate versus, I, I suppose, feminism. And in many of the in many way in, in many ways again i stand on the side of feminism in those arguments however gamergate when it's boiled down to its core when you really look when you look at its actual is there a definition online but basically what people define it to be which is um, basically people that are fighting for uh oh crap what is the name Again, this is like I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head and it's not working, but basically what Gamergate stands for is a good thing. They want truth and they basically want uh, game, gaming journalism to be something that is not corrupted. And that is a strong point. That is a good thing. The problem is I also identify that there are people within the Gamergate community that cause a lot of problems. They attack people. They, um, <laughs> they threaten people. They threaten people's lives. And that's something really hard for me to stand with. Now, at the same time, there are... I, I can't think of any examples offhand, personally, but there are also people that stand on the feminist side that also attack the Gamergate people. Um, they refuse to take anything they say seriously simply because they identify as being part of Gamergate. And for me, I feel like it's it's just this big battle that, while I'm trying to think of all this off the top of my head, it's hard to really structure. I will probably make a video about this one day to really define my thoughts. But again, just using that as a very, very general example and not meaning to, uh, definitely not singling out anyone, but just trying to establish what I'm wanting to talk about 
at some point in the future. I... I just... Topics like that are things where I feel that the truth lies somewhere in the middle. That each extreme, while at their core, hold um, you know very good things, very good intentions, it can be corrupted by bad people. It can be corrupted by people who are, are misogynists, and using the name of Gamergate will openly attack, well not even openly, they will anonymously attack and threaten the lives of people on the other side, or people that disagree with them, <laughs> and even threaten the lives of their family members, whereas people on the other side, on the feminist side, you know, some of them just, they treat anyone and everyone associated with Gamergate as children, and I don't think that's the right way to look at it either. But I'm rambling, again, I whenever I do these sort of like political-ish videos, I'm going to uh, not even necessarily make out a script, but make it be more organized, so I'm less likely to ramble, and have these videos go on for God knows how long, like some of them have in the past. But that's what I'm wanting to do one of the ideas that I have for this channel, there are so many things I want to do, and it's hard to really do that when I'm, you know, I'm, it's hard to balance my my ideas, the things I'm currently doing with Papa Ken Media, my full-time job, and a personal life. I'm doing my best, and it's something that I'm working on as time goes on. But I guess what I'm trying to say even though I made a very rambly point of it, <laughs> um, is that if... I hope you all are interested in those kind of ideas, those kinds of discussions taking place. And it's not even just going to be me discussing them all the time. I want to get input from, you know, some of the different viewers out there. I want to get uh, input from some of the, you know, uh, other news networks out there. Now, obviously, I do, again, I do lean more on the progressive side of things, but that doesn't mean I'm always going to agree with people that have those, have that stance. But before I start rambling again, I'll go ahead and end this video. Please do leave your thoughts on all of this down in the comments down below. Again, it's like if you have any really strong opinions on Gamergate and all that, or feminism, you know, again, I was just speaking generally there. That's something that will be discussed in more detail in the future. But, uh... So, I'm not sure there was much point to this video overall in the end, sadly, but I did want to get something out there for you all, and I hope you, all of you have a great week. I hope you all are looking forward to some of the upcoming videos. I know I'm looking forward to getting them ready and getting them out to you all, and yeah, uh, if you have anything you want to say, leave it in the comments down below, or send them my way on Twitter, on the Facebook page, or any other of my social medias we might be connected on. But anyway, until next time, everyone, I'm Papa Ken, and later.